South Australian Senator Alec Antic of the Liberal Party also spoke in favour of a COVID Royal Commission in the Senate this week. In 2020 and 2021, anyone who questioned or criticised the lockdowns in this country was called an anti-vaxxer and a threat to public health. But I mean, I've noticed since those days that there are members of the public, um, members of parliament, media commentators, many of them over here, by the way, who Senator Rennick did now seek to duck and weave and have forgotten all about that. They've gone rather, rather quiet on the subject. Senator Antic told the Senate that these people have gone quiet because the truth has caught up with them and the lockdown narrative has become indefensible. As has the damage through job losses, uh, through tragic suicides, divorces, increase in health problems, they've all become more evident. And the time will come when every single aspect of the COVID narrative, including the vaccine mandates, the mask mandates, staying 1.5 metres apart, remember that? It's a matter of urgency. It's in a matter of urgency that we examine now why, as Senator Canavan said, Australia's excess death rates are increasing after the pandemic. This is all after everyone got their safe and effective vaccines. Remember, they were safe and effective, but no one wants to ask what's causing the excess death rate. There are more excess deaths occurring at the moment than there were in 2020. The, the ABS has reported that in 2022, there were 190,394 deaths that occurred by 31 December and were registered by 28 February of this year, which is 25,235. That's 15.3% more than the historical average. I'm actually a bit confused as to why this isn't being investigated already. And this particular issue of excess deaths must be the linchpin. If nothing else is, a Royal Commission must be sought in order to uncover this very issue.